this is a game that everyone around the NFL has been talking about all week. These teams both come in undefeated, both having phenomenal seasons up to this point. What a heavyweight battle we have on our hands here. It's the Panthers going up against the Bears. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. carry for the change of pace back the rookie Tariq Cohen and a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20 credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine second down following the run from the gun it's Trubisky that's to the rookie tight end Adam Shaheen a good pick up there of 20 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good, that middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right, probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well, <laughs> and he's got it. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Trubisky will throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards on the play. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. Well, too much oomph. Too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. This is Cohen. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Hurry up, here we go. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He hits right, complete. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. They run. This is Cohen. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And his kick is right through. Check out, check out, check out. 
Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Christian McCaffrey and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24 now whistles here and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up while the trainers take a look we'll step aside to throw on second down is Newton and Davis with it left side and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line and they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down uh, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run into big-time races. It means they got out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, right, didn't it? Closed gone, fast. Gone, gone. Over, over. Over, over. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. Over the middle, complete. It's Hanson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he motions the wide receiver. Now Cohen, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. Put on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Again, it's Cohen. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands so they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. That's complete to Meredith. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. 
Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They try again with Cohen, and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Trubisky. They're able to locate Wilson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now they'll run it with Cohen. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. He's already scored once. He definitely had his eyes wide open trying to get in there a second time, but I thought that was a really nice play defensively to deny him. Yeah, it was, as you said, keeping him away from his second first quarter touchdown there. Off the toss, Cohen trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. So fourth down, John Fox will turn it over to his field goal unit. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So they get three. They were hoping for six. An unlucky number 13 play drive. Well, you go to the sideline after putting three points on the board. Happy. But you wanted to be ecstatic. You wanted to have six on the board. On the opposite sideline, though, the defense, I think they're high-fiving each other, only giving up three after letting them run that much offense. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> and the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They go play action with Stewart. Now Newton. And this is going to be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? You mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he is knocked down from the side at the 19. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it to the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Give them a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the get it, boys. Get it, boys. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. From the gun, here's Newton. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. 
And that one results in 35 yards. They go play action here on first down. Airing it out for Olsen. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Here's Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. A play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll bring up fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, if you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work. But in his defense, this has been a stifling defense so far. So they've got to start finding a way to unlock them as this game goes on. A reminder later tonight, a game some folks have had circled on their calendars since the schedule came out in April. That's the Super Bowl rematch. Falcons, Charles, at Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Super Bowl 51 and a half, anyone? <laughs> then on Monday night, that's no slouch either. An NFC East battle between the Redskins and the Eagles. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Second and 10 now. It's Trubisky. He's got White here. 30, the 20, 10, touchdown, Chicago. Kevin White, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bears will extend their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Back to throw. Newton. This one complete to Devin Funches. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Newton now to throw. Got his target, Samuel. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Now Newton on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. 
And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. On second down, McCaffrey. Bad he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. He lost two there, and it's third down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. Here's the Panthers punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On first down, Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And he'll give it here to his running back. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Trubisky. Throw left side taken in by Meredith. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Now Trubisky on first down. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Get a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Caught left side by Funches. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary. Figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. 
But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. He picked up another first down with that run. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Tono Passigno in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Second down, here's Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. Well, he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. And his kick here is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffen toward the end. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, he bowls over him. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now it's Trubisky. Throw here's incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. This is Mike Davis. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. The Bears on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And Wilson has it. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. And now a first down following that long game. And he'll give it here to his running back. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But he was stopped on that play. But he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Pretty good running there. Nine yards. Sets up a third and one. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The Bears on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Over the middle, that's caught by Meredith. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. his way forward here for a good little game. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. They go again with Davis. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Elsewhere, second-half action at Heinz Field, and the Bengals have extended their lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. From the four, it's second and goal. Now Davis, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Mike Davis, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Santos now to add the PAT. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side <laughs> because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 20, 10, touchdown, Carolina. Devin Funches with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is. They had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Back to the NFL scoreboard for his second, third quarter in Indy. And the lead in that one belonging to the Colts. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Check. Hey, Detroit. 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 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. Here's Davis now. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They'll run with Davis. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number and ready now for second and nine. On the carry, it's Davis. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Here's Newt. And incomplete. He dropped it in the end zone. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. To throw on second down is Newton. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now, what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And a field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Desperation time, Newton, fourth down. And he's got it, touchdown Panthers. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense, that is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. 
Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bifema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Still searching for that first interception in this game and down on the scoreboard. Remember, they won last week, and a big reason why they had three picks. And one characteristic I've always noticed about great defenses is that they want to be the ones that have a huge impact on the game and actually lead their teams to victory. So you just noted, three interceptions last week and they won. And a little extra pressure that they're feeling right now because they haven't gotten those interceptions in this game and they're losing. The Bears on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and nine. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially... Give him 15, and the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field, and they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive, but they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. Taking a shot for Samuel. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Panthers on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. Here it's third and three. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. A very solid gain of 27. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, Newton. He's going to air one out. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Well, partner, I think the defensive fellas got the memo and they decided to cover him on that play. Yeah, he's already up over 100 yards in this game. They tried a deep shot, couldn't get it. Yeah, when you've had that much success, finally, someone said, let's try and put a stop to it and put people on him. And Davis has it over the middle. A very solid gain of 27. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there's going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him, and he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Here's Newton now on second down. Uh, he's got it, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this.
They come out here in the eye. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. So a big play coming for the Panthers. They'll go for two. Back to throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points that gets him back within a field goal. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Oh, Trubisky going to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. That's their first time getting to the quarterback sack number one. And, you know, they had five last week, I'm remembering. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback, but you show them a lot of different looks. And they did that in the first half. You know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to him here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. Room here to run. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Elsewhere, they're into the fourth at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. And you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And if they could hold on to that lead, it would be win number four on the season for them. Flush to his right. He hits White complete. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more <laughs> stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. This time to the tailback. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. But Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit, they were able to hold on, withstand that comeback, and ultimately win it by the slim margin. And bottom line, when it's all said and done, they don't ask you how much you won by. They just want to know, did you win? And that they did. So for Chicago, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Carolina, they fall for the first time this season after six wins to start the campaign. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks.